uh, you'll agree with me, most of you there are people coming into Qatar for the first time. Yes, you'll agree with me, the formalities completely change. When you remember, when you come into the when you come in Qatar, or the first time for you to come in Qatar, the first requirement for you will have what you call a three months visa before it is being converted into what you call a work visa. So during the duration of three months, your employer has to finish up what you call the formalities and those formalities that your employer has to finish up, those including getting your QID, having a copy of the contract, getting the medical, uh, that's what you call a medical fitness test and also fingerprints for you to get what you call the residence permit. Remember, for you to be legally accepted to live in this country, definitely you need to have what you call, what you call the may you must have what you call the residence permit yes most of you you come to this country and you find that even after a long period or after three months that is being given to you your employer cannot be able to apply for you or to get for you what you call the residence permit now it is another case as a new law that was totally introduced most of you will agree with me you've heard of this new law that has been introduced or what has been introduced that is regarding what you call the residence permit yes the residence permit definitely what you need to understand right now is that all the formalities of the residence permit must be completed by what you call your employer or your sponsor within what you call a duration of only one month that is an equivalent of 30 days beyond that there will be what you call a penalty that will be accrued to the company or to the employer or even you you'll be part of the cost sharing if all the formalities are not finished up in what you call uh, uh, that is finished up in what you call the 30 days that is being given by the law. So this is, I'll add you to most of you that come here, you may come on what you call a freelancer visa. Yes, most of the time I'll talk about what you call the freelancer visa because it's mostly applicable to this one because you know you don't know your sponsor. Most of you come here, you don't know your sponsor or you, you don't even you know, know where your sponsor lives. You don't even know the office of your sponsor where it lives. So it becomes back to you that you need to take that kind of quantity to take up the conscious that you need to pressure them, you need to force them, you need to pressure them to get you what you call the residence permit within the accurate period of time that is what you call the 30 days that has to be accurate. That is according to the law because remember the penalty for you to get is what you call uh, it's a uh, uh, 10,000 Qatarian. So definitely something also I need to share with you for people that come on the freelancer visa. Yes, most of us will come with what you call agents, but you don't even know your employer. The agent is the middleman in between. And what happens is that after the period of time, the agents get to disappear away from you. Once the agent disappears from you, what are you left with? Most of the time I kept on telling you have the mobile, money of the, uh, the mobile number of that agent that put into the country. If it's so possible that you agree with the, this agent and is a very good term agent, have the QID of that agent. So at most times, if things get to fail up in one way or the other and you do not definitely see the agent, the only option that you need to do or what you need to understand what you need to do is go to police, go with the mobile number of the agent and the visa copy. They will look for that agent and they will call him or they will try to track the sponsor of that visa or your sponsor such that they can finish up the formalities for you to have what you call the act for the residence permit to be permitted living in the country. Hope I've tried to share something for you. And hope is a very good advice for you. Definitely need to know. Uh, by the way, if you so far same come across the channel, don't forget to hesitate and subscribe. Don't forget to share and don't forget we are looking at the road to 10,000 subscribers. Remember, it makes giving you all these updates.